Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the other time lapse expert tips. Today we are going to save a sequence where condensation had built up on the camera's lens. But I will show you a trick on how to fix this. Okay, just by playing back the sequence, you can see the condensation coming in here in the center where we have a lack of contrast now. And this doesn't look so nice. So let's try to fix this. First of all, I would like to add a keyframe where the condensation comes in. I think it's around here. Then I will press one to set the keyframe here. And then maybe another one here. Because the extent of the condensation, it just grows a little bit. So let's do another one here. And one at the very end of the sequence. Okay, let's save. I already have this sequence in Lightroom, so I will just read my metadata in order to bring the keyframes here into Lightroom. And now we can already start filtering for the keyframes and have a look at the first image. This one doesn't have any condensation, so we are going to do some regular editing. Now, I'll bring the settings from the first to the second keyframe just by using my sync keyframe script. And now go to the second keyframe. I think it's coming in here already. So what I'm going to do now is use one of my circular filters and bring it to the center where we have the condensation. And then use the dehaze to increase the contrast a little bit and the shadows to light it up a little bit. As you already learned in the very first expert tips episode, I will now bring this radio filter to the first keyframe also, just by selecting the second and uh, control selecting the first and do the scripts sync keyframes gradients only. And now on the first keyframe, I will remove the settings so that I have a neutral filter here and I have the edited filter on the second keyframe. Now, if you didn't understand why I did this, please go back to the second episode of the expert tips. That's where I explained on how to animate the gradients and then you will understand why this was important now. I will bring this circular gradient now to the next keyframe, including all of the other edits. That's why I'm using the sync keyframe script. And now you can see the condensation started to pick up a little bit here. I will move the gradient, increase the brightness and also increase the dehaze even more. Let's bring it to the next keyframe. At the end, what we are doing here is we are just trying to fix something that went wrong when shooting. It's always better to do it right while shooting. In this case, it would have been sufficient to leave the camera outside for say half an hour after I brought it from the warm inside to the cold and just wait until the camera and the lens had adapted to the cold, then you wouldn't get that condensation. But sometimes you just forget this or you have sequences that would be otherwise ruined. In this case, it really worked to increase the contrast a little bit and use that dehaze tool on the circular filter to remove that condensation. And the result is quite good. The other option would have been to throw away that sequence. Okay, let's bring it to the last keyframe. Okay, let's have a look at the result. And as you can see, it's already quite nice. I mean, at least in comparison to the fact that normally we would have thrown away that sequence. So with a little bit of clever editing with that animated circular gradient, we could fix this to a certain extent. Of course, next time I'll take care to do it right when shooting, but for a little workaround, it was not so bad. One thing that still bothers me on this sequence is that the horizon tilts because of the 
pan axis not having been really level when shooting. That's why I'm going to show you how to fix this in the next episode of the LR Timelapse Expert Tips. So stay tuned, please subscribe to my channel, then you will get a notification when the next episode is on air. See you then, bye bye.